There was one young person, and I end on this, was Qasim ibn al-Hassan. Qasim was the young son of Imam Hassan. He was only 11, 12 years old, and he comes to Karbala with his mother. You find Qasim comes to Karbala and during the battle as Imam Hussain is fighting and the, murder, the, the torture is taking place, the killing is taking place, he finally tugs on his uncle's trousers as a young child and says, I am ready to go. Imam Hussain looks at him as his nephew and he begins to cry. He says, your father left you to me as an amana. Now I have to send you in front of the battle. Imam Hassan had told him that when this scenario comes, don't deny my son this honor to rise in the honor of fighting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Ahlul Bayt, a 12 year old. Those of you who are 12 years old, 11 years old, take heed brothers. Don't follow the satanic ways. Follow Qasim ibn al Hassan. He says to Imam Hussein, he says, death to me is sweeter than honey. How does a 12 year old say that? Because the wisdom implanted into these children of Ahlul Bayt was supreme, was so high that when we look at them in the annals of history, we are humbled that we think we're good. We're nothing compared to these people, nothing. They say Qasim ibn al Hassan ascends on the horse. They say he was not a warrior. There were 72 warriors. They say he wasn't even dressed properly to battle. They say he had slippers and one of his sandals, even the strap was broken. That as he, as he went towards the battlefield, as Imam kisses him goodbye and sends him towards the battlefield, the enemies say, we see this Qamar Bani Hashim, we see a little moon coming toward us with a sword. He says, I am here to protect the religion of my grandfather. They surrounded Qasim ibn al-Hassan and they struck him, one of them came and struck him on the head and Qasim fought, they say he fought, he fought valiantly as a young child he must have damaged them because the zeal is higher than, than any physical strength you and I can have they struck him on the head and Qasim falls from the horse he shrieks, he calls out, Ya Ami, my uncle, come and help me Imam Hussain alayhi salam comes running towards Qasim ibn al-Hassan and the one who struck him on his head, Imam strikes him on the head and dislodges him. But by the time the horses and the enemies who came to help, at that time there was so much dust. When the dust settled, that enemy who killed Qasim was trampled by the horses. But the Imam saw this beautiful young body under his feet. And he looked up and said, oh Allah, I accept this tragedy.